I said yesterday I was gonna make a video on my fasting. Where is she at? Here she is. Hi, Panda. So I have been on the fast. Seven o'clock Sunday night. It is almost once, so six months and 66 hours now without more so food, but I do drink a lot of uh, water, tea, and I had some milk in me. So first of all, if you guys don't know, I'm a Buddhist, so Buddhists do fast for several different reasons. A lot of times it's for self-control. And so I'm also detoxifying my body and a whole lot of stuff I came out of my body. So I'm gonna tell you a story about a guy. His name is Angus Barber Airy from Ju June of six, 1965 to July of 1966 for 382 days. I'm gonna show you a picture of him real quick. He fasted. He only lived off of tea, coffee, soda, water, and vitamins. And uh, when you fast, you gotta make sure you lose two minerals and that's potassium, sodium. You gotta make sure you get that in, which I do. I fasted for 22 days straight. That's the longest fast I ever had. The only reason why I stopped is because one of my kids had the flu. And guess who got the flu from him? Moi. So I ate a little bit of toast after. And then I just slowly gradually got back on food. There is intermittent fasting, which a lot of you guys know. I love intermittent fasting. But I also incorporate one meal a day. I will eat one time, which is 9 o'clock. Eat whatever I want at the time. And I'm good for the rest of the day. I feel full. So the intermittent fasting time that I use is 16 hours fasting, eight hour time frame. But I don't usually eat more than once when I do the when I mix the OMAD with intermittent fasting. So basically I really go 23 hours, 23 one or 23 and a half to half. But most people use 16, eight, because a lot, a lot of people would like to eat one or two meals. So, fasting does a lot of things for you. But I'm not going to suggest you do fasting like me. I might eat a salad later. I don't know. It depends. Because I really love this one sal salad from this place. I don't know. Later on, I have to see. But fasting helps with late weight loss. Helps improve your blood sugar. Helps with your heart health. Helps with your brain function. Because I do get foggy a lot. And I, my brain feels sharp today. And it helps bring cancer. I have lost so far, first two days, seven pounds. The first day, I lost 6.4. The next day, I only lost 0. 0.6. But I think it's because I drank chocolate milk, and that's a lot of calories, considering that I really don't get calories in with food. So I think with that, it kind of gained a little bit of weight. But sometimes you don't lose a whole lot of weight. The first day, I always lose at least a minimum, minimum of five pounds. And then I, I, it depends on the day. I can lose even more. So I can't remember how many pounds I lost in the 22 days, but I know I lost a good chunk of weight. That jump started my weight, and I got down that year. It was two years ago. I got down to 207. I, I want to kick myself so bad because this year I started back up at 252. I got down to 236.6 in February. March came. I found out I got kidney disease. It really threw my mind. I'm thinking the worst possible thing that I can have with kidney disease, and that means having a transplant. I don't know that right now. I'm still going to work with my with a doctor and to get tests done and whatever, whatever. But you know, mentally, that threw me for a loop, thinking I might die. <laughs> so I said, "F this." I didn't let you guys know this, but I just decided, "Hey." I let myself go. I try one 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 week. I'm like, okay. But I jump start back up um beginning of May. I said, I'm done. I'm gonna get back on the train and live the best life possible and not let this get to me. And I do let things get to me, especially when it comes to my health. After I was two oh seven, I gained the weight back because throughout the year because MDS syndrome. I've never lived with, alone at all. And with my boys in college for nine months of the year, in the freshman year, I was like, I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't have Panda yet, so that's when I got her. It's because I didn't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I've been harassed by a neighbor boy, boy, these boys in my neighborhood. And then another group of young men who just came and bothered me for no reason. They were at their car and they, they tried. I think they were either going to kidnap her or steal my phone. There's the only two things that I have that it wouldn't even be 
would they even bother for? So, um, but sometimes, you know, you fall off, but you got to stick with it. And I've been sticking with it. And my highest weight that I started this on was 295. So as of now, I'm like you know, down 53 pounds. Yeah, 53 pounds. Hey, that's still good. I'm going to continue on pushing forward, live my life, but also losing weight at the same time. So don't don't give up on yourself. I, I mean, there's point parts that I did give up on because I got upset. And, and, and I'm an emotional eater. I'm a stressful eater. And I just love food. So this is my story. This is why I fast. But don't do the way I do it. Do the intermittent fasting. I suggest that because it does. When I'm on that, it when I go back to that, I feel I, I do feel good. I do feel better. So I wanted to share my story. I just wanted to show you what I've been doing for right now. And I do actually I feel I can feel the weight difference of the eleven pounds I got just lost. Especially the six point four pounds the other day. That is a lot in one day. And I do feel better. I do feel better by myself. I'm super excited now that it it's possibly I can get back, back down and pass. I, I still got the cake from my birthday that my daughter bought me. I'm not going to eat it till I hit under 200 pounds. So I'm on a mission. I want to eat that cake. It's good. It's a expensive cake. I want it. So I never ate it. I know some of you guys may remember that I got the cake from my birthday, March, and I haven't eaten. It's still there, trust me. And that's my incentive to get under 200. So, yes, this is my story. This is my what I want to talk about fasting. Fasting is good, but do it intermittently. It's Don't do it the way I'm doing. I did it before. I didn't die. And this is the way I, 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 able, I was able to kickstart my metabolism and allow me to get back into losing that weight. And I want to be under 200 soon. So, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. And... Don't worry about me. I do have my boys watching me. My daughter's a nurse. I do feel if I'm not going to let myself go. I'm not that hard headed to the point where I need to be in the emergency room. I refuse to go to an emergency room. So you don't have to worry about that. I will start gradually eating again. So I'm not going to go 22 days. I will not do that. No, no, that's too hot. It's getting too hot to do that. I did the 22 days between February and March and now it's getting warmer. I don't like the way I feel when it's hot. Normally when I eat, I don't want to feel more miserable when you don't eat. So, yes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I appreciate all your support. I'm hoping to keep up doing four miles a day. But sometimes I might back off and just do three. My goal on my um, walking app is two-mile goal a day. I will raise that soon. I'm just trying to get back, you know, keep keep doing it, keep doing it. And as school progress, if school's about to die down in two weeks, but I might do the summer run and that's not all day. I won't have as many students. I may have one or two students at the most. So I have a lot more days. So I have a lot more time to walk more. So in this summer, I plan to do some paranormal investigation. So I got to get more fit to do it. So you guys have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Have an awesome day today.